The Accord's a mainstream car, but compared to the other mainstream cars in the segment, it always drove just a little bit better than the competition. The Accord had enormous historic significance. It revolutionized the auto industry is what it did. It was the best car in the segment for much of its history. June 1976. Americans are coping with skyrocketing gas prices from America's first oil crisis. Along came the fun and fuel efficient Honda Accord and a four decades long American success story took root. The Accord got great gas mileage in the 1970s at a time when American vehicles didn't. Fuel efficiency was an incredibly powerful appeal. It was actually the strongest initial appeal of the car. The name Accord came from Honda's belief in using technology to achieve Accord between people and the automobile. Marking its 40th anniversary on American roadways, the Honda Accord has achieved just that. Honda has been able to weed through that vast sea of technology that's available and put onto the Accord the technology that improves the driving experience. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are the best and latest examples of that. It's technology that serves a purpose that relates to customers. And I think it's helped Accord stay relevant. The good news with Accord, when you talk about the different buying audiences, is Accord is actually number one with millennial buyers in the mid-size segment, and it has been for some time. Accord has impacted the industry in many ways. The first car built by a Japanese automaker in America, it helped demonstrate that quality automobiles can be built here. Here comes this little upstart at the time, Japanese company, Honda, builds a factory in Ohio. It's the first successful foreign car factory in America. It employs American workers and it builds fantastic quality cars. So the Accord exploded a lot of myths, not just about the auto industry, but about America. I remember there was a performance magazine that ran a story and they tested an Ohio-built Accord and a Japan-built Accord. And the end result was uh, well encapsulated in the headline and it said, American Worker Vindicated. The quality was deemed to be just as good as what came out of Japan. Since local production began in Marysville, Ohio in November 1982, more than 10 million Accords have been built in America. And Accord has played a big part in Honda's U.S. exports since the first U.S.-made Accord boarded a ship in 1987. In the late 80s, Honda actually started exporting the Accord Coupe back to Japan because the Coupe really wasn't made in Japan. It was made only in Marysville. That was a, a seminal moment, too. I mean, the fact that a car built in America by American workers would have the quality and reliability to sell in the Japanese market was a significant milestone. I always had one thought. When you build that car, that car is built for your family. My mom has always owned a Honda Accord in the entire time that I've worked here. I always built these cars to reflect the fact that that car could be owned by my mom and I wouldn't want her driving anything but the best. For four decades, Accord has defined Honda's core values. Most importantly, Accord has changed what American consumers expect in an automobile. The name Honda is synonymous with Accord. Accord has been a stellar product. It's been around 40 years. It really defines the company. One of the major milestones for the Accord during this 40-year history occurred in 1989 when the car became the best-selling car in America. So for the first time, a non-Detroit model, a non-Detroit nameplate, became America's best-selling uh, automobile. We judge cars in all categories by this overall fun to drive uh, aspect. We put on our fun to drive glasses and take a look at them. Once we see how well does it perform its task, then we see does it put a smile on our face. And consistently in that segment, the Accord has put a bigger smile on our face than any other car.